Hey everybody, this is Mark with Flatwoods Bee Farm. Thought I'd do a quick little video today, just talking. It's not going to be any working bees. I want to explain one of the first things that I do uh, late winter, early spring in, to my colonies. I told everybody last year I would try to take the YouTube channel step by step over the course of the year what I do um, with my bees to keep them chemical free. I'm sorry, I didn't do a very good job of it last year. I'm gonna try to do better this year. Um, one of the first things, <clears throat> so one of the first things I do in the spring or, or late winter is rank all my colonies. Sorry about that, I had a message pop up on the screen. Distracted me. <laughs> um, I rank all my colonies. And the reason I do that is that helps me decide what I'm going to do with that colony that year. Um, where it's going to fit into my, my uh, production scheme. So what I, what I do is uh, today is uh, today's St. Patrick's Day. It's March the 17th. Um, so right now, uh, what I've done is I've looked at all my colonies and ranked them. The first thing I do is I'll take the colony, flip it up on its side, and look at the cluster from underneath. Don't smoke it yet. First thing I want to do is see how many seams of bees that I've got in the cluster. The reason you don't smoke them is because once you smoke them, they move. I want to see the true seams of bees in that colony. So. I'll look at that. I'll write that number down. Say it's six. All right, then I'll set the colony back down and uh, I'll go into it from the top. Give it a little smoke. And uh, I meant to <laughs> I meant to video me doing this the other day when I did it. Guess what? Forgot. But anyway, so you just get to hear me talk. So the next thing I do is I'll start working the colony, going through it. Um, looking at how many frames of, uh, of capped honey is still in the colony and also how many frames of uh, brood is in the colony. And I'll write all that down. Let's say, for example, in a 10 frame uh, deep colony that overwintered, <clears throat> I look at it from underneath and I've got six seams of bees. I write that down. Now what I mean by seam of bees is uh, you look between the look between the frames. If you see bees between frames, that's a seam. Just count them. See how many seams you got. Write it down. Write down how many uh, frames of brood you've got. And that could vary. You know, we'll say we've got five. Okay, write that down. Let's say, for instance, you got three frames of uh, capped honey left in there. Write that down. All right, once I get all that wrote down, I'll go back and I'll look at it and I'll say, okay, I'll give each, each thing a number value. Um, seems the bees, I've got six. I'll write down six. Frames of capped brood, I've got five. I'll write that down. That's 11. Okay. Now, honey, capped honey, left over. Sorry, there's no mess. Let me get rid of it. There we go. Um, capped honey is very important. So I give give each frame of capped honey a value of two. Okay. So if I've got three frames of capped honey, that's six. Okay. So I got six seams of bees five frames of, of brood, which is 11, and I got a value of six on the capped honey. So that's six, five, 11, plus six is 17. All right, Oop, there's another message. Um, so that's what, six, 11, that's 18. Is that right? Did I do that right? Six and five is 11 plus six, 17. Sorry. <laughs> I've had too much coffee. 
Oh, speaking of, let me give me a swallow of my Arbuckle's coffee. Ah, that's good stuff. Got the message. All right, so we got a ranking of 17 for that colony. All it is is a number. All right. Now take a. Uh, you can you can mark that down however you want to. What I do is uh, we've, we've, I got some of these uh, lumber crayons or lumber. Yeah, lumber crayons. It's like a wax crayon. It's a big, great big thing, about that big. And I'll write that number on the side, on the side of the colony. And I'll go through all my colonies, okay? What I'll do is the, the top third of all the colonies, using that, that value, that number, all those colonies go into honey production. Whether it's in my apiary here at home or in an out yard, it don't matter. Those are for honey. The middle third goes, I split those colonies up into nukes. Now, those nukes can either be for sale. They can replace losses uh, that I had, or they can be increase. Okay? Like I can do whatever I want to with those nukes. All right? And the queens can cut, they can do, they can be walkaway splits, they can be queen cells, mated queens, just whatever. That doesn't matter. The bottom third, those colonies are earmarked for the whole season to support the other colonies. Now, when I say support, I mean support them with frames of honey, frames of brood. Um, I'll give them blank frames to pull comb. They're just to supply resources for the rest of my bees. So, so that's how I kind of, that's how I break down my whole ranking system. Um, top third, honey production, obviously, as the strongest, best. Okay, middle third, I break all them up for nukes. Bottom third is to help support the rest of the apiaries. Okay. So I hope everybody understands that, but that's that's the first thing that Mark does in the late winter, early spring. Um, in my management program here in with my bees, and I'm sorry that if it looks like I'm looking over there, but it's hard to look at that. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> it's something I got to get used to. But anyway, that's the way I do it. That's the first thing I do. Um, Next weekend, I'll actually be doing uh, that That middle third. We'll be making those nukes. We'll be splitting those. So we're going we're gonna to do a video of that so you can see how I'll make a nuke. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. All right. Hope you're having a great day. I'm looking at the screen with the camera just right. Hope you're having a great day because I know I am. See you.